Hi, good day to you. My name is David Gardner. I am the transit specialist at the town of Okotoks, and I'm here today to welcome you to our new fleet of transit vehicles. These vehicles will be on the road on the 1st of July 2020. They have hybrid engines, so we should be saving about 26% of our fuel bill. Okotoks Transit is largely funded by the Green Trip funding program and has been successfully operating since December 2019. On entering these vehicles, we have a much lower step and a bus door, so they're easier and safer to board and they're also contactless. On boarding the vehicle, you will find 10 seated options for passengers. Alternatively, there are three wheelchair capacity options. We also have a new flooring in the new vehicles, which you will see the difference if you've been using Transit before. The new flooring is uh, completely flush, which is much easier for us to clean and keep sanitized. And also, the new wheelchair securing systems are Q-strength systems, which are far easier for the drivers to operate. We can bring little kids of all ages and sizes on the vehicles. We have booster seats, which, which are the new type of MyFold booster seat, which actually brings the seat belt down to the child rather than boosting the seat. And we also have one child seat which you can book on the app. Alternatively, you can bring your own child seat. We also have some colorful measurement markers on the side of the door as you enter, and these are for our younger riders. If you are over the height of the red line, then you do not need to wear a booster seat. Otherwise, in accordance with our requirements, you will be supplied with a MyFold booster seat to keep you safe during your journey. The vehicles are also equipped with a bike rack at the front and a small luggage rack inside, which unfortunately is temporarily unavailable during COVID-19. Uh, my experience with Okotoks Transit, it's been very interesting meeting new people all the time. It's definitely a big impact on the town. Every person pretty much has said they love the service and they're so glad it has come to Okotoks because Okotoks definitely needs it. The younger kids, like the teenagers now, they can go to their friends' places. They don't have to wait for their parents to get home from work and drive them around town so they can get around on their own. People that don't have vehicles that go to work, we go right to your door and pick you up and take you straight to your front door at work. The vehicles are also equipped with video surveillance from all angles of the vehicle. They are as a security feature for the passengers and for the driver. I am most excited about the door, the passenger electric door. <laughs> so there will be no more struggles opening it and closing it. So we open it for them and they get on and then we close it behind them. And I really think the little cell phone chargers, the USB ports in the sides are pretty cool too. The service operates Monday through Saturday from 6 a.m. till 11.30 p.m. And so far we have transported over 12,000 passengers in the first six months of operation. Local transit was a needed service in Okotoks and residents have truly embraced it. It is a convenient system and the first of its kind in Canada offering curb-to-curb on-demand service for the general public. An added bonus is that this responsive ride-sharing system comes with an app that is really easy to use. Yes, the app, they love the app, it's easy to use. Uh, they like that they can leave a review and they like that they can follow. So as I'm driving to them, they can follow me on a map. So it's showing them on their phone as I'm getting closer. They love the prices. That is the one of the biggest comments is they love the ride and they love the cost. Fares start at 275. It is a cashless system, so please pay when you book the ride. No cash, debit or credit cards are accepted on the vehicles. Simply book your ride by downloading the app at okotuxtransit.ca or call the number on your screen.